So here we go then, the Solidarity Challenge Grand Finals. It is going to be Scott McTominay taking on Antoine Griezmann. And I'm glad to welcome back Darren Fletcher to the fold. I've obviously been here with Harry the whole way through today. Uh, Darren, very excited to get into this Grand Final. Absolutely. And I've been, I've been looking at the results and Antoine Griezmann basically has just continued on that level all the way through. I'm a little bit... I'm interested today whether Scott can go again, because I think if you look at Scott's results, yes, he's done well to get to the final. But I still think, based on the results and the way he's played so far, he's got a little bit to find. I don't know whether Harry would agree with that, but I think he's got a bit to find on Griezmann. I think he goes in as the favourite. Can he maintain the, the standard that he's set? And if he can't, has Scott got that little bit more for the final just to get him up there so he can, he can really make an impact? Yeah, Harry, I, I mean, how, how good did Antoine look yesterday? I, I think Darren's very right in the, the sense that Scott really does need to find another level, you think. If if Antoine plays the same way, though, he's got to be the favourite, surely. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, he has the, the highest uh, average scoring of so far of the entire challenge. Don't think he's scored less than four uh, so far. So, uh, yeah, I think Scott definitely needs to find that little bit extra. Uh, I feel like this is going to be a different kind of test though for Griezmann himself because I feel like McTominay probably the the best defensive sided team uh, in terms of a competitor in this tournament so far I feel like Griezmann might have a few issues uh, breaking him down in the attacking side of the gameplay so uh, we'll have to see if, Grie if Griezmann can maybe you know start to chip away at the McTominay defense and get an early goal then it could be over before I mean even half time but if McTominay can hold on then you never know you never know but just to remind you guys at home as to why we are doing the solidarity challenge of course it is to support the who in the fight against coronavirus the covid 19 solidarity response fund is something you can donate to from your home www.solidaritychallenge.org every single penny of that donation goes directly to the fund and to the who it's fight against the coronavirus but Let's have a look at how these two guys found themselves here. As I said, we've touched on some of their games, but this is how things have broken down. Antoine Griezmann, first and foremost, went up against Ludovic, Ludovic Julie, I should say, 5-0 to zero there. Then Blaisman Sweetie, his French international teammate, 4-0 to zero there. 4-0 to zero against Liv Cook in the semi-final as well. Has just been free-flowing, scoring very, very easily across the two days. Now, Scott McTominay, a little bit of a closer affair for him. 3-2 on pens against Luis Saha. 2-1 versus Robert Perez and only 2-0 against Danny Kerr. So it's definitely been a bit more of a tough task at hand for Scott McTominay to find himself here. But maybe I, I'm sort of thinking to myself, Harry, that, you know, having these close games, do you think it'll give him some sort of momentum into this one? Whereas Antoine Griezmann's just breezed past people. He's been playing easy pets. Yeah, well, this is it, isn't it? Uh, McTominay hasn't had the headline Hollywood score lines. You know, he hasn't just been blasting past everyone. Uh, he's had to, you know, take his take his punches, take his lumps. Um, and I, I think you're right. I think that might give him a bit of momentum here. Griezmann hasn't really been tested so far to the extent that, that McTominay has in previous rounds. So, yeah, I think that will settle him down nicely ahead of this final hit. I, yeah. I think... I think... I mean, I think Aaron, this is the classic boxer puncher. You know, this is the wrecking ball <laughs> going into the ring who's stopping everybody in the first round. And then you've got the, can the other fella come in, keep himself out the way for a, bit, a little bit and maybe nick it on points. There's going to be a battle of tactics here. Um, when you look at Griezmann's record all the way through, it's phenomenal. When you think how close Scott McTominay came to going out to Lewis Saha in the very first game, and here he is in the final. But I think this is going to be fascinating. Will the defensive player, the organisation, will that slow Antoine Griezmann down? Or is he just going to carry on rampaging through the tournament and win it? I think it's fascinating. Well, we're going to find out very, very shortly. But before we do get into the game, Darren is going to chat to the players. So, gentlemen, we reach the final. Scott, the last time we spoke, you just survived the penalty shootout against Lewis Saha. Since then, you've managed to get through to the final. How are you thinking about this one today then against Antoine? Yeah, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a tough one. I know he plays the game a lot, so it'll be, be an interesting game. But no, it's all for, for a good cause. And obviously, to be in the final is brilliant. So, no, it uh, should, be, should be good fun. Antoine, so you've not conceded a goal. You've scored lots of goals. You've absolutely stormed into the final today. You must be really confident. No, it's a final, so everything can happen. But I'm very, very happy to be able to play against Scott. And I hope it will be a good match for the public. And that's the best one. 
So what do you do, Scott, when you look at his record and he's scoring fours and fives and all that kind of thing? You've had a well-organised team, though, on the way to the final. So are you confident that you can slow Antoine's team down? Um, no, but uh, <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's a game. Anything can happen in, in 90 minutes. So uh, it's, it might be an underdog, but we'll have to, we'll have to wait and see. I'm sure he's, he's very, very good. Okay, Antoine, you've been the favourite all the way through. You've got Scott in the final, but you will know that Scott's team has been difficult to score on, so you will have to play well in the final. Bah, j'espère aussi. Euh, je pense que ça va être un, un bon match. Et, euh, et voilà, je vais essayer de, de garder la balle, de faire euh, tourner le ballon et, et de ne pas prendre de but parce que devant, je peux faire mal à tout moment. Fellas, good luck to both of you. We will speak after. So it all comes down to this. Antoine Griezmann against Scott McTominay, FC Barcelona against Manchester United, the final. And I'm really looking forward to this one, Harry. Yeah, me too. Uh, it's interesting to see what kind of lineup Griezmann feels. He's in previous rounds settled into a sort of almost a front four with Messi, Dembele, Suarez, and himself on this near side featuring. So that leaves little room for attacking substitutes late in the game. We'll see if it comes back to bite him. There's the first Antoine Griezmann attack, and the uh, defending not that decisive initially from Scott McTominay, but he's got Victor Lindelof on hand over there to uh, clear it away. And now uh, Scott McTominay, controlling himself, can bring Manchester United forward for the first time in the final. Sergio Busquets, though, now has it back for Barcelona, and here's Luis Suarez and Eric Bailly back there. I wonder whether this is going to settle into a pattern of an attacking team in Antoine Griezmann and an organised team for Scott McTominay. And Scott will know then that when the chances come, he's got to take them. Well, it's a, it's a really good question and one that I, well, we'll definitely get the answer to come the end of the match. And speaking of lineup, Scott going with the, the tried and tested uh, eSports first 11, I suppose you could say, with some youth players in there, the likes of Damani Mella, the likes of Tuan Zebe at the back. Here he is on the ball now. Uh, he's certainly willing to listen to the Manchester United eSports captain, Eldridge O'Neill, and it's helped him out so far. It's at Mason Greenwood and now Marcus Rashford, who was looking to try and turn inside the Barcelona penalty area. He'd been nice and patient there in the build-up. Scott McTominay. Here comes uh, Antoine Griezmann controlling this Barcelona team with uh, Lionel Messi on the ball and now Frankie oh. de Jong. They've been such a free-scoring team, Griezmann's side, all the way to the final. Fours and fives. He's actually yet to concede a goal, so that's going to be the first problem that Scott has is to try and somehow have enough possession and generate a chance that's good enough so he can actually score. Here's Mata, and now uh, Dimani Mella. No. She and now Bailly. No, Scott. Get off me. Scott McTominay winning it back for Scott McTominay against Antoine Griezmann. It seems as though Scott wants to keep the ball as long as he can, Harry, when he's got it. Yeah, certainly. Doesn't want to give up possession too far up the pitch and uh, allow that counter-attack of Barcelona to, to come in. But look at the high press. No. Suarez, but that decision's going to go Manchester United's way, which will be relief to uh, Scott McTominay. Suarez just offside. And I think ah, this is one of the real reasons we've seen such high scoring from Griezmann so far this competition is because of the success he's had with no, Messi man. in that 10 roll behind the front three. It's been a really proficient counter-attacking squad that he's been able to use and uh, Messi's been the catalyst for it. Got to give some credit here though to Scott because he's made a really solid start. He's not allowed Antoine to, to get the early goal and to get that early momentum and all those um, early attacks that we've seen in the games on the way to the final but he has actually managed to make this a relatively even start which will give him confidence. You might even argue he's having the line share of possession here as well. Here's a Greenwood looking to turn, but Jordi Alba was uh, there for Antoine Griezmann. And here's uh, Dembele. Very cagey start to the final. Griezmann gives it away to Fosu Mensa. Here's Matic and now McTominay. No. But one matter won't get there, but it will be a throw into Manchester United and more possession for them inside Antoine Griezmann's half. It's really rare, Darren, that you'll see a Pez game without a chance in the first half an hour of game time. It's uh, clearly means a lot to both of these players. Maybe, you know, the concentration levels being so high that they might be missing a few chances here and there, some runners off the ball. So 
You can tell it means a lot to them, even though it's a you know friendly, just for fun competition. They want to be the victor of it. Well, in boxing terms, at the moment, the boxer is still on his feet against the puncher. And Scott's going to be delighted with the way that his team have started the final. Here's at Frankie de Jong, and now Suarez. And uh, Scott McTominay, of all people, for Scott McTominay, is the defender back there, but I think he's just gone a little bit far. Is that going to be a corner? I think it is. Corner to uh, Antoine Griezmann and Barcelona, the first set piece for uh, Scott McTominay to have to defend. Corner taken by Oi. Messi, headed away by Bailly, and then Busquets didn't gather it. Here's Nelson Semedo, Antoine Griezmann. Ah. Still Griezmann with the shot. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for it. And Scott McTominay no. survives the first serious test from Antoine Griezmann. Yeah, it was more of a half chance than anything. It was in it. An OK position, but De Gea saw it all the way. Here's Jordi Elba, the rampaging fullback coming forward. Lindelof is over there. Now Dembele. Messi with the chance. Oh. And Messi pops it wide. And that was a very good chance oh, for Messi. <laughs> Much better chance this one. One that really should be fine in the back of the net. Did so well to oh. find Messi with the late run. <laughs> oh, you just need that to be on target. Oh, oh, maybe that's the first goal here in the final. That was so, so close to being 1-0 to uh, well, Barcelona, 1-0 to Griezmann in the final. The Solidarity Challenge final between Antoine Griezmann and Scott McTominay. Now, Scott McTominay controlling Manchester United, Antoine Griezmann controlling Barcelona, representing their respective clubs. Uh, the Tostegan in possession here for uh, Antoine Griezmann. We did say privately before this started that we felt that Scott needed to have it close going into the second half, and it looks as though it's going to be that way. Yeah, I think he'll be happy with the performance so far in the first half, it's especially if he's able to keep this clean sheet for the next two or so in-game minutes. I think uh, that would be a success for him. Here's Dembele. Now De Jong. He's been very well organised defensively all the way through the tournament, Scott. Ah. And uh, the decision will go to uh, Manchester United there for the offside. So half time, Harry, nil nil. Nil nil it is. And I think if we're sticking with the boxing analogy, I think round one <laughs> would definitely go to McTominay. I mean, Griezmann's certainly had his chances, but I think McTominay will be the happier fighter. Mostly glancing blows, if you will. Uh, not so much saved by the belt. We'll have to see if round two is anything to go by. He's certainly managed to avoid the big haymaker at this stage. We will see what happens, though, in the second half. Nil nil, penalties if necessary. And that Scott's defensive organisation that's been a key of his path to the final is there for everybody to see again. Antoine's test in the second half is to try and get the attacks as incisive and as imaginative as they've been in the previous round. It's Juan Mata, up to Marcus Rashford. Now Scott McTominay, and the tackle made in there by Jordi Elba. That might well have been the moment for Scott McTominay to score for Scott McTominay, but not to be. Given away there by Dembele. Here's Greenwood. Mella. Shot Weesh. by Mella. And that's over. But it's the first shot that Scott McTominay's had in the final. And another little moment there to increase his confidence. Yeah, he's building early on in this second half. There was a run on there. I think no. it was Marcus Rashford. <laughs> Maybe might have just Demand. been too close to goal to get a three pass three without uh, Ter Stegen coming to collect. But he gets his shot away at least. And, well, that'll be... Some warning signs maybe for Griezmann, just reminding him that, well, this final is not a sure thing. McTominay's proven in earlier rounds. He can score from open plate, so we'll have to see. Here's Messi. A little bit of space for him. No. And Griezmann had carried on running, and Antoine Griezmann is in, and he's put it well. <laughs> he's disappointed. Eric Bailly was the defender for Scott. Uh, that was an opportunity, though, for Antoine Griezmann to be Griezmann's hero. Yeah, Griezmann with the late run, and... Well, Bailly came across, didn't that? quite see from that replay whether or not he got yeah. a touch or whether it was oh my God, it Griezmann's shot that went wide. It looks like it will be a corner. No, you got to go for shot. taken short here to Nelson Semedo. Go on, and Nelson. Mason Greenwood with the block for Scott McTominay. Here's De Jong. Albert. And driven oh. in, and they're all over the place, but they managed to get it clear again. Scott McTominay on, was helping out. Uh, Scott there himself, another counter-attack's on. Greenwood to Mata. 
And then Meller and Rashford's made the run into the middle. And he's still going here, Meller. And Nelson Semedo back there to defend it for uh, Barcelona and Griezmann. Yeah, did just enough there, did Semedo for Antoine. And it gets to the stage as we approach the, the time where usually you'd see substitutions come into play on the real world pitch. Maybe we start to see these players turn to their benches and, and maybe Griezmann even turn a bit more attacking because he surely won't want this to go to pens. There's Dembele with the cross, and that's cleared away. Every time he's needed a defender back there, Scott McTominay, he's managed no. to find one, although the, the Young's got the ball here, and now Messi, and Messi was looking to turn, Ooh. and the shot, that's the same by Dembele. Yeah. <laughs> Messi can't what believe it. What sure is he Norcan doing? What is he doing? Griezmann. And Norcan McTominay, What's he doing? I'm sure that he was in possession Timo. of the ball, and that there was no oh. way for Messi yeah. to get a shot away. What are you doing? Luckily, the Spaniard... I mean, De is right behind it. Only the corner for Griezmann. He's oh, pressing those. He's, <laughs> he's gone as well. No. Change player. Corner to Antoine Griezmann. Lionel Messi's out to take it. Time ticking by, though. No. Dembele's managed to get the other side of Foster. Oh, no, no, no. Down he goes. And what's the referee said? He said, oh, yes, Griezmann. The final for <laughs> Griezmann. It's Antoine oh, Griezmann. Oh, my God. I don't it's believe the fairy it. tale. It's exactly what Griezmann wanted to see. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Oh my gosh! How is it not a penalty? Well, for all his pressure oh, the penalty. and for all oh, his pressing, man. Griezmann gets the reward he was looking for. I felt a little sympathetic towards him, considering the foul just before just should have been called a penalty. I think the referees played a really good advantage here. As Dembele oh, oh. goes down under another challenge, but Griezmann there thought about <laughs> taking it on his left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking to then shift oh. it onto the right boot. That was a heavy challenge at the back. <laughs> feet of the last second did him. the virtual it Griezmann. It had to be. And Nobody it's an advantage to the French international. <laughs> well, the virtual Griezmann has made Antoine Griezmann very, very happy. And it's advantage to him in the final with not too long remaining for Scott McTominay to try and find an answer. He's got to throw caution to the wind now and really get on the attack. Here's Greenwood and now Rashford. Rashford's wriggling through. Alba the defender and did really well. And if you take a look in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen, that little blue bar means that Griezmann's gone on to the more defensive side of things. Maybe... Very wary of defending this one goal lead. It's uncharacteristic of Antoine. Usually he scores, again, to use a boxing analogy, punches in bunches. Uh, looks like he's happy to sit on this one goal advantage and not give away too much at the back. I think it's quite smart at this stage of the game. I'm just trying to keep the ball at the moment. Although there's some space here for Albert into Griezmann again. Aye. And to David De Gea. Launch forward and flicked on. Here's at Mason Greenwood. Scott McTominay coming forward. He's got two up there with it. Mason Greenwood. He's still on the move. Down he almost went over it. <laughs> now he's a fair challenge. Oh, down Mason. Now the man who's got the goal so far. Antoine Griezmann out to Lionel Messi. Fosu Mensa across there to win it back for McTominay, no, but he gives man. it away to Nelson Semedo. Vidal to Griezmann. Lovely turn. Tees up Dembele. Side foot. Look, what is he doing? Here. Second chance, pulls it back, 2-0. And he's only gone and got both of them. I don't believe this. I don't believe it. <laughs> I don't believe it. And the virtual I don't Antoine actually Griezmann believe what I'm saying. Oh, my God. I think that's the goal that seals it. He's got a two, man. <sighs> hey, well done. Well done, mate. So yeah, I, was, I, was, I was well in it. He's defended stoutly. <laughs> All solidarity challenge. No way. Long. Throughout every round so far. That's twice now. That's twice. Watch this guy. Who's it? Well, it's just a mix up at the back. What is he not catching it for? I think it was. Just need someone to put a boot through it, put a fist through it, get it away from the area. Instead, it's Griezmann first to react. What is he doing there? He sets his virtual self up for his brace. And that surely should be the title now. Well, he's had to work really hard for it in the final, Antoine Griezmann, but two little moments where he needed the incisive finish and the virtual version of himself has delivered on both occasions. And it looks like it's going to be disappointment in the final for Scott McTominay unless he can get things done very, very quickly. By very quickly, we mean almost instantaneously from this yep. attack needs a goal. And, you know, even if he gets that goal, Griezmann's going to play possession. 
Free kick by uh, Matic was headed away. Here's Messi. Antoine Griezmann in possession. It's all he needs at the moment to keep the ball. It's been a fantastic effort, though, by Scott, because he's given Griezmann more trouble than anybody else has all the way through to the final. And although we haven't seen too many attacking forays from him, maybe unlucky not to get a goal. Can't get through, can I? Mata hits it straight at Nelson Semedo. Here's Messi. Mella onto really Rashford. Off, yeah. Look at him. <laughs> to uh, Manchester United, to Scott McTominay. Yeah, intentional foul this was, I think, from, from Busquets. <laughs> Feel like Griezmann just wants to slow down the flow and not give McTominay any chance to get himself a lifeline well, in this final. It's smart, it's clever, no, a bit of gamesmanship. No, that's a foul as well. If he gets hat trick, I'm, I'm quitting. And uh, well, I think Antoine has done enough here. Well, what is he sliding for? Two men went in and didn't leave anything to the imagination. Scott McTominay's got to get it forward. Matter onto Rashford. One back well, though, for Antoine Griezmann by Frankie de Jong. And the full-time whistle. The yeah. world champion! A bit of practice. <laughs> Get me a bit of practice, yeah, I'm coming for it. And Antoine Griezmann has won the Solidarity Challenge by two goals to nil. Antoine, congratulations. It was hard fought. It wasn't an easy game, but you won it. Ouais, ouais, euh, Scott, il a, il a un, un très bon niveau de jeu. J'ai été, euh, j'ai été euh, surpris. Et euh, voilà, ça a été un, un plaisir d'avoir pu jouer contre, euh, contre lui. Et euh, comme on s'est dit avant, bah, on, on pourra, on pourra s'entraîner encore plus pour devenir meilleur. Scott, congratulations on reaching the final. Commiserations on the way it went. I thought for a spell there that you got it tactically spot on going into the second half. We were saying during the commentary, you, you were controlling the ball, you were, you were holding him at bay. We really fancied you to maybe nick it in the second half there. Yeah, I did. the first half was good. I kept the ball well. Uh, it's probably a little bit frustrating uh, whenever someone does that to me. It's, it's, it's annoying. So I knew that was be, be the best way to play. But then second half, two mistakes killed me. Two mistakes and obviously me not being able to break him down was, was, uh, was the main talking point of the match. So no, it was... It was a good game. I enjoyed it uh, a lot, and obviously, it was a pleasure to be to be involved in the tournament. So I, I really appreciate that. It's been fantastic having you involved, Antoine. Was that the perfect way to win it with two virtual Antoine Griezmann goals? Ouais, j'ai essayé de, de trouver uh, le, le, le Grisou devant, essayer de lui donner uh, le <laughs> plus de fois de ballon le plus possible. Et uh, voilà, c'est lui qui nous donne la victoire. Donc, on, on, on est heureux de l'avoir dans notre équipe. Uh, Scott, we're looking forward to seeing you back on the, on the proper pitch very, very soon, away from the virtual pitch that we've enjoyed watching you on for the past couple of days. Would you have a message before we let you go for the Manchester United supporters? Yeah, obviously, we just all, all can't wait to be back. It'll be, be amazing to be back playing, whether that's not in front of any fans or, or just in, in crowds where there's nobody there. So, no, everybody's looking forward to be back and, and hopefully we'll, we'll get some good results and, and start pushing forwards now. Scott, thank you. We wish you well with the preparations and looking forward to seeing you back in the league. Antoine, what would you say to the Barcelona supporters who are watching this? It won't be long before you're back too. Bah, J'espère qu'ils qu ont profité euh, du, du jeu, de la victoire et euh, voilà, hâte de, de retrouver le, le championnat, de leur donner du plaisir euh, sur, sur le vrai terrain et, euh, et voilà, jusqu'à le Barça. Well done to both of you. Antoine, you're the winner. Scott, you're the runner-up. Thanks for taking part. So there we have it. Congratulations to Antoine Griezmann, the winner of the Solidarity Challenge. Uh, Harry, in the end, it feels like he deserves it, and he very much was the favourite going into it, but a good performance all around. I mean, he proved why, didn't he? Uh, not a single goal conceded throughout the entire tournament, by the way. Not a bad record to go along with the crown as well. Uh, Scott, uh, I mean, we heard from him just then in the post-game interview. Uh, it felt like he was controlling the game really well in the first half, which he was. He was frustrating Antoine here and there. Only really allowed him half chances and, and that one chance around the 30-minute mark, I think it was, with, with Leo Messi. But in the second half, just lost a bit of concentration and uh, Antoine's class, I think, showed through and and that's why we see him crown the champion 
And Darren, he's a hell of a player on the pitch, it has to be said, and he's pretty good on the sticks also. Antoine's so impressive all the way through. Yeah, when the chances came, he just got the ability to take them. Um, even more special for him, the fact that the virtual Griezmann got both goals in the final, which if he could have written the script beforehand, that's what it would have, that's what it would have said. I mean, from Scott's perspective, I thought he did really well. I think he did what he had to do, which was to try and make it difficult for Antoine and try and keep the, the ball for as long as he could. It was just that age-old problem that we've seen everybody have in the tournament against Antoine. You just can't get forward to score a goal either. We know that he's free scoring as a player, but as, as Harry said, he's not letting goals in either. But I think they both enjoyed it. They've both been fantastic competitors. So has everybody who's been involved in the Solidarity Challenge. And I think it was the perfect way for it to finish. Absolutely. So there you go. Antoine Griezmann is the winner of the Solidarity Challenge. Uh, just to remind you guys exactly why we have done this is to help in the fight against coronavirus. The WHO's COVID-19 Solidarity Response Fund is what we are donating to. You can still donate at any time at www.solidaritychallenge.org. Every single penny goes towards the fund. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's it. The end of the Solidarity Challenge. I, I want to say a massive thank you to all our celebrities who took part. A massive thank you to our commentary team, uh, Harry, as always, with me. And Darren, your first foray into uh, the virtual <laughs> beautiful game. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. I've enjoyed it. You've made me very welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining us. Harry, another good day of Pez anyway. It always is on the virtual pitch. Uh, uh, the favourite came through to win it. Uh, Scott McTominay gave himself a really good account of himself, but in the end, Antoine Griezmann, he remains the king. He does indeed. Thank you very much to everybody at home who's been watching and donating, and we will see you next time.